Stuart, here's what really fascinates me about the study of consciousness, that you look at all these smart people, scientists, philosophers, and they can't even agree where the level of hierarchy, the key area of consciousness, takes place. It starts at the lowest level of the fundamental uh, space-time of the universe, which you might prescribe, and it goes up to the neuron, the synapse, the brain circuits, uh, uh, the, the entire brain, and then some would have it outside the brain in some non-physical way. I mean, the, the orders of magnitude are staggering. Why is that the case? You put your finger on the, on the issue. I think consciousness is scale invariant like a fractal. It can move through all these scales like music. You know, there's high frequency, there's low, you, like changing octaves in, in a musical score. And I think consciousness occurs at different scales at, at the same time or at different times at different scales. So, for example, when we're enlightened or, or in an enhanced state of consciousness, I think consciousness actually goes to a deeper level, goes uh, smaller, faster, more intense uh, inside the neuron, for example, into the quantum level where you get non-local. When you get non-locality in the quantum world, then you, you reach out to everywhere. So then you have, a, in principle, the whole universe and non-locality and interaction uh, between people, consciousness outside the brain. So I you believe that's a real possibility? Definitely, yes. I think it's a possibility. I can't prove it, uh, but I think there's enough evidence for end-of-life brain activity, these near-death and out-of-body experiences and so forth. We can't rule out consciousness out of the brain until we have a true understanding of consciousness in the brain. I think consciousness in the brain is a quantum effect that is connected to the fine scale structure of the universe at the Planck scale, which is non-local, which means it's everywhere.